Hi! In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the Inkscape interface. The Inkscape interface can be divided into nine different areas or focal points. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at 1. The location of these focal points and 2. The responsibility for each of these focal points. The menu. The menu, as in most applications, contains a list of all major functions. Underneath the menu are common InScape object modification tools. The toolbox. This is InScape's main editing control. It contains tools to create objects, paths and shapes, as well as tools to edit their individual properties. The Tools Control Bar The Tools Control Bar shows additional information and editing options for a specific tool selected in the toolbox. The Canvas The Canvas is the most central and largest area in the InScape interface. This is the work area where the image is composed the canvas page in the middle is merely a guide for the user, but does not restrict the user from utilizing outside white space. Rulers The rulers in Inkscape are located below the tools control bar and to the right of the toolbox, representing the x-axis, horizontal line, and the y-axis, vertical line, respectively. Guides and Grids The Guides and Grids area can be found in the menu list or in the ruler area. Guides are an Inkscape specific feature to help to align objects with a by eye or mathematical precision. The Snap Toolbox The Snap Toolbox is located to the right of the canvas. The Snap Tool is the magnetic snapping or joining of nodes in Inkscape with the purpose of aligning different objects together. The color palette and status bar. At the bottom of the canvas is the color palette. The color palette is the assortment of colors that are available for immediate use. The color palette can be adjusted and changed as seen fit by the designer. The status bar to the bottom of the palette is where all events are documented real time, right down to the cursor movements and transformations.